Hi everyone, Andrew Ames with Golf Academy here. Welcome as always, thanks for watching. A um, little test I thought we'd do today. I often get asked by customers how they can hit the ball further. Uh, people always want to hit the ball further, don't they? And as we know, sometimes when we hit the ball further, we don't hit it as straight. And sometimes faster club speed means loss of control. So I was interested, I was teaching a guy um, early this week who had a very slow club head speed but hit it really straight, wanting to swing it faster. And I've just got me thinking, you know, I wonder what a test would look like if I could swing a driver at, say, 65 miles an hour, then one at 75 miles an hour, 85, 95, who knows, 105 miles an hour, and just see the effects of club speed has. This is going to be quite a difficult thing to pull off, I think, because trying to get some decent strikes at different club speeds might take a while, but we're going to have a go. We're going to try and shoot it sort of as it comes and we're going to have a little look. So the first swing I'm going to make, I'm going to try and swing it round about 65 miles an hour club speed, okay? I'm going to try and get a strike on it as well. So bear with me. <laughs> I've got a 10 and a half degree G30 driver here set to regular. Now trying to swing a driver 65 miles an hour is difficult. I'm going to go down the shaft a little bit. Here goes, nothing. Oh, nice little cut. Couldn't quite square the club up on that. So we're going to get some varying strikes and some different directions going in. That's going to be faster than 65. That's 74 miles an hour of club speed. I've cut it a bit. Um, let's have a look at the numbers. Let's, we're just kind of playing around here, just kind of learning as we go. So obviously a little bit of cut spin, 74 miles an hour of club speed. I've got a 154 carry and a 177 run out. Let's build on that. Let's try and push the club speeds on a little bit. Let's go for something up in the 80s, shall we? Okay, let's go at 85 miles an hour ish if we can yeah it's really struggling to square the club up here because i'm trying to sort of hold the speed off so let's see what that one came in at 88 miles an hour a little bit faster than i wanted i'm going to ignore that one let's try another one let's see if i can release one at the same time There's a strike. I thought that came in at really swung that quite easy, but it might surprise me this one. 85 miles an hour. So I got the club speed I'm looking at. Got a really good strike on that. So I've got 74 miles an hour, a bit cutty, 153 carry, okay, 176. Got 85 miles an hour. Good strike, square club face, 201 carry, okay, to 222 runner. Big increase in distance, that isn't it, for 10 miles an hour close speed. Yes, there was some cut spin on the first one, we've got to factor that in. So, realistically, with a straight hit, that would have probably been more like 165, but I still picked up nearly 40 yards of carry on that. Very interesting, this. I'm going to go one more, might go two more. I'm going to go up, I'm looking for 95 this time, I can get it, what does 95 feel like, <laughs> I don't know to be honest, we're just going to have to have a go at it, what do you think, 95, turn it over a little bit, don't know, 97, two miles off my mark. Hit it a little bit out the toe. 96, 97 miles an hour, 233 carry. Let's go and have a little look. So I've gone from 85 to 96, 97. The carry's jumped again, obviously 201 to 232, running out to 255. Quite good this, isn't it? Not particularly scientific, but we kind of get the idea what we're working on. So, final shot. I'm going to go flat out. I'm going to go full tilt at this, and I know that if I'm swinging it 
full power. I can maybe pick up sort of 105-ish. Let's have a go. This might take a couple of goes, so I'm really going to try and hit this quite hard. Not bad. It's about as good as I can hit it. I think 103. It's my guess. It felt like a 103. It was only 100. God. I'm exhausted after that one. So, what did we get? 100 miles an hour. It's after 105, five miles short. So, I've gone uh, from 96 to 99. I've only picked up nine yards of carry. Interesting, isn't it? Bear it in mind that if I had this shaft optimized, I'd probably use a slightly stiffer shaft. Probably starting to generate a little bit too much back swing with this regular, but we'll go one more. Going hard at this one. Oh, phone the chiropractor. That was, whew, need to lie down. What was that one coming in at? 100 miles an hour, can't get it past 100. Mate and old, 242 carry. So, let's go through the numbers one more time. Pretty interesting. We started off at 74 miles an hour, slightly over the club face. We're going to call that 165, yeah? Then we went to 85, 87 miles an hour. We got a 202 carry. Then we went to 96. We got a 232 carry. I tried to get to 105, couldn't do it. And bottom there at around about 100. Maxed out at 242 carry. So there we go, club speed. Yes, it is important, of course it is, but so is strike. You know, if we can minimize side spin, if we can get strike out the center of the club, you know, avoid twisting the club face, great. So, uh, went quite well that really. I thought it might take a little bit longer. So, just a few numbers on how club speed affects distances. Um, great fun, thanks for watching, all the best.